In continuing coverage, Senator Tim Kaine is warning about the effects a partial government shutdown could have on Virginia. He says small businesses and federal workers around the D.C. area would be impacted the most. Non-essential workers would be furloughed, while essential workers would have to work for free. Kane says the shutdown couldn't come at a worse time for many businesses. October is a particularly bad time for a government shutdown for some. We have a lot of communities in Virginia around national parks, like the Shenandoah National Park. And if you're in a tourism business, a hotel, a restaurant, maybe an outdoor store, this time in the fall is probably one of your two busiest seasons of the year. Kane says more than 144,000 people in the Commonwealth would be impacted by a shutdown. Meantime, federal agencies will start preparing for a possible shutdown today as Congress leaves town for the weekend without a temporary deal in place. Fox News' Doug Luzader has more from Capitol Hill. A shutdown now seems to be the likely outcome here with just a week to go and no viable path for an agreement. Get the shutdown signs ready to go. The federal government has been here before and it could happen again next week. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy did not hide his frustration. This is a whole new concept of individuals that just want to burn the whole place down. That, that doesn't work. The money flow for the country turns off a week from tomorrow. The federal agencies will soon start bracing for what would be a partial shutdown, closing many federal offices and sending non-essential federal workers home. About the best chance to avoid that now is a stopgap spending deal called the Continuing Resolution, or CR. But some conservatives say spending levels are still too high and a handful are refusing to budge. CRs are like Lay's potato chips. You never seem to be able to stop at just one. And complicating this are calls to add in Ukraine war funding or measures to address an explosive increase in illegal border crossings. Democrats, meantime, won't consider cuts and the White House so is much, blaming Jake. Republicans. This is not for us to fix. This is for House Republicans to fix, the extreme House Republicans. This is on them. Now, the House isn't scheduled to come back to work until Tuesday, but everyone has been told to be prepared to return here to Washington if there is some kind of a deal. In Washington, I'm Doug Luzader, Fox News.